Okay, welcome back everyone. Uh, Thaddeus here, and we have Budagare with us again, finally, and we also have Annabelle Lee, so there's all three of us on the server right now. Um, we were going to make some uh, regular villagers, but they need cooked pork chops. They cannot, th for some reason, it has to be pork chops. I did not realize that, so we went and we grabbed our pigs and set up a pig farm and a carrot farm real quick so that we can start getting some cooked pork chops. And then we're going to go ahead and make those guys. Um, the quarry was going a little bit slow, so I actually made one more miner, and he's an adept. So that's going to speed everything up here a little bit. And now I'm really having to clear out all this cobblestone quickly. And uh, let's see. So Budagare went ahead and remade our nether portal. And it's over there on the hill. Looks kind of cool over there. And so we will be going to the nether soon. But I do want to go ahead and get a couple of NPCs so we can try and trade for some better armor. And we're also going to make some of the master archers. Because the archers never need anything more than leather armor and just a standard bow. The only difference is how much food they take and how much research is required to get to the point where you can make them. So here's our carrot farm. We had one stack, took all of our bones, turned it into bone meal, got that going. Now we've got our farmers over here that are taking care of the pigs. We did not need the potato farm anymore because we have so much food coming in from the cow farm and the chicken farm. So potatoes just weren't really necessary anymore. So that one's gone. And let's see, how are we doing on ink? Ink sacks have been... Are we missing our fishermen? Oh, you know what? I think I packed them away. Let me double check. I think I packed them away because we had uh, plenty. Let me just double check here. Uh, yeah, okay, there's the adept fishman. I was like, what happened to him? Okay, and then got a couple more emeralds from the quarry farm. I have the civic structure builders for uh, village house small two and one. And then getting ready to go to the nether, I've got six sets of leather armor. We've been collecting string, and so we just need to make... Uh, six bows. That way each of us uh, will take some uh, archers with us because we want to go and start getting those wither skeleton skulls and I think the archers can really help us with that once we find a nice spot in a nether fortress to do that. In making the carrot farm I went ahead and I moved over their food production and my uh, trash disposal. Other than that uh, things are going pretty well and we're just getting ready for everything making new armor trying to get some xp to enchant it and let's see do we have any pork chops in here we do have three annabelle lee you said you had some pork chops yeah i already put them in the place to cook okay good let's see they're not cooked yet let's see where they're at probably up in here yeah so what i'm going to do is i'm going to go ahead and place them right there and get those cooked and we got a little bit of iron up in there and let's get rid of all this cobblestone so um, Annabelle Lee and I when uh, we went to take over the uh, that castle man we uh, we just got beat up we lost four of our archers and that was uh, that was not very nice, but you know, anytime in war you expect to have casualties. So right now we're just kind of waiting on getting our NPC villagers, just the regular standard villagers, because we need ten pork chops for each. So let me go ahead and see if we've uh, we've got five. So we're almost there. I'll just go ahead and I'll wait. There's six. I'll wait for the other four. And we're going to start with a smith because we want to get his trades because they usually have uh, some decent trades. So the smith here requires one emerald. Okay, one emerald. Too easy. We got 49 emeralds. 
So, one emerald. Oh, we need 20 cooked pork chop, not 10, so we're actually going to be short. Let's see, we need 8 rations. Let me just go grab another stack of rations. I did go ahead and I put down the medium town hall here instead of the large. Or, I'm sorry, instead of the small, because we just didn't need... Um, we didn't really need a medium to take with us, and the uh, the medium holds a lot more in it. So this way here, we've got double the storage for their uh, their rations. And let me go ahead and take a stack of rations, and we're gonna have to. Okay, we got ten cooked pork chops. That is only half of what we need. Boy, these guys are expensive. I guess when you don't have pork chops and you need twenty. That's expensive. <laughs> uh, anything you don't have is expensive. Okay, you guys ready to sleep? Yeah. All right, I'm coming upstairs. I'm in bed. Shame. Okay. Sleepy time. So somewhere in that timeline, I got myself an enchanted diamond sword. Yes, uh, Butagare made a himself a diamond sword now that we have some and got a pretty decent uh, enchant on it. He did get Bane of Arthropods 5 but he also got Looting 3 and Knockback 2 was it? Yeah so he did get a pretty decent uh, enchant. The Looting will definitely be good once we get to the Nether. Bane of Arthropods uh, you know that helps with the Spider Spawner which, let's go ahead and I'll show you down where the quarry is. I went ahead and extended the, uh, the ladder that these guys had made so that it goes all the way down now. I found some raw pork chops in my chest. Okay, good. Go ahead and go cook those pork chops. Now, uh, I wasn't really paying a lot of attention when I chose where this quarry was going to be and we got lucky because uh, if it had been over one more square they would have destroyed our spider spawner so as soon as this quarry gets all the way down we'll go ahead and cover that spawner back up so that we can start using it for uh, XP and stuff the, um, pig farm is finally making pork chops. all right pig farm is making pork chops that's what I want to hear and we just need to make sure we keep a good supply of ladders for uh, for our quarry there. Uh, as you can see, some spots I had run out of ladders and it didn't get filled in. So this spot here, I did make some and manually installed them. Just so we've got a, a quick way in and out of here. And other than that, I think it's just going to be a little bit of time now for us, which we'll do off screen, getting everything ready as far as the pork chops so we can get the uh, the villagers up and running so we can start doing some nice trades there we've got pretty much everything we need to be able to do any of those trades uh, if we can find you know any of the nice ones for emeralds as far as raw chicken or some wheat or bread you know that'll make things a lot easier because we've got all of those resources I don't remember ever seeing one for potatoes but maybe there is one so raw chickens, feathers, I've seen lots of those so we can get more emeralds. We've already got um, 49 emeralds. We're just waiting on our pork chops. We've got a total of 13. Did you already cook those pork chops, Annabelle? No, I put them with the rest of the pig farm. Oh, okay. There so. Okay, if there's eight, then that'll be enough to, to get our first NPC. Okay, we got seven. That'll be exactly 20. Let me go and go cook these up. Okay, get in there. All right. So we still have plenty of potatoes from our potato farm. I went ahead and I took everything that had already been cooked up and shoved it here into the food processor. So this thing here is filling up nice and quickly. Lumberjack, get back to work. Okay, Carrot Farm is doing just fine. Alright, right now we just need to wait for these guys to grow up. 
grow up and die. Okay, I'm going to jump in here and grab a little more of this XP. Yeah, I'll, I'll tell you, I could really see these farms being useful with the brain in a jar from Thalmcraft. Because they're constantly making little bits of XP. Uh, just let that thing collect it for you and you'll be looking good. Alright, how are we looking here? Six pork chops, one more, and then we get to make our NPC. Come on, one more. Make it seven. Boom. Twenty. Yay. So I just wanted to go ahead and show this uh, this first one being made on camera. So we just need eight of you. And we just need four paper. I think I can handle that. Okay, you know what? I'm just going to stick all of those in there because we're going to make some more anyway. 33 seconds for a villager. You can go ahead and do your stuff. I'm watching the show. Okay. Ah, okay, so this episode's going to be about over. It's probably going to be a little bit long just because uh, we've got this little extra bit here on the tail end that I wanted to get done. And two, one, and done. Hey, where'd he go? I, I think a Buttigar stole him. All right, so you can just bring him out. Probably, I, I don't think there's going to be any way to tell him where his home is, because he should just be a standard villager. So I guess just go ahead and put him out. I'll put him over here so he thinks that this is his house. At least. Okay. Bodies. Yes, Annabelle? How do you spell references? I think, they have, I think the version I have has too many E's. Uh, I think you need a double R somewhere. Okay, where did he go? Ah, oh, there he is. Hold on, let me see. Uh, 11 emeralds for a diamond pickaxe. Yeah, that is. But in order to open up the next trade, we got to do it. But at least it's emeralds. So that was 11. Well, you know, when I was caving, I was saying I would trade di emeralds for diamonds. Uh, where did he go? I hear him. Did he go in his house? Google says I did it right. Okay, where is he? Somebody find me a talking villager. Not talking. I hear him. Is, is he in the house? Is he in the fortress? I hear him. Somebody help me find a villager. No, he can't walk out. I hear him. There's no place for him to get out. Researcher, you know what? I'm going to repack you because you are obviously trying to get away. No, he's not down there. He's here. Where? I think he was in the castle. Oh, okay. He's brown like all these other guys, so he's hard to see. Oh, okay. I got him. 11 emeralds. That's expensive, but we got to do it. So now he should show some particle effects. Let's see what his next trade is. 13 for a diamond sword. Okay. That's... Yeah, it is, but we got to do it to open up his trades. Once You only have to do the last trade to unlock another one. Come here, you. I hate doing it, but we got to do it. So now that we got it, we'll make um, an expert swordsman. Let's see. Five for an iron hoe? Are you kidding me? Well, until we get some more meat, we can't. Until we get some more pork chops, we can't make any other villagers. So at this point, well, you know, we know we can find more emeralds. How many was that? Five? Yes. Wow. Okay. He is greedy. Okay. 
Okay, these are all going to be used for uh, making NPCs because we don't need them. All right, let's see what he's got next. I, okay, hold on. All right. all right, let's see what he's got. Five emeralds for iron boots. Seriously? Wow. No, let's see if we can get something good. All right, let's get these iron boots. He can do iron for emeralds. Okay, move, butter, so I can talk to him. I know, but I'm I'm the one filming, so move away. For an iron pickaxe. Well, we're almost out of emeralds, so we're probably gonna have to go caving again. Eight, was it? This is. I think this is his last trade. Let me see. Don't they get five trades? One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, I'm pretty sure they just get five. I'm not going to do it. So now we just got to wait for our pigs. And we'll do like a farmer. Because farmers will normally give you trades for emeralds. And so we'll just go about that. Hopefully we can get a good one. Librarians are also good because you can get a trade which is paper for emeralds. Okay. Or books, bookshelves, things like that. Those will be easy for us to make. So with that, that's going to be the end of the episode. We are going to keep uh, working on this a little bit off screen so we can get some more villagers and maybe find some good trades and get ready to go to the nether with uh, plenty of archers and maybe some good um, you know some good diamond gear all right thanks for watching everybody see you next time hi welcome back everyone Thaddeus here I'm looking at my nemesis no not a creeper the nether portal Okay, so uh, Annabelle Lee and I decided to take a quick trip to the nether. Buttergear had already been there, and he had told us that it was a pretty dangerous spawn location. And so Annabelle Lee and I, we went in with some cobblestone. How many times have you said, okay, I'm just going to make a quick trip to the nether, put some cobblestone around my portal to make it safe from the, uh, the ghasts, and had a bad experience well that's what happened to us I lost my wonderful pickaxe I honestly don't know why I even took it to the nether since there was nothing there really that would you know I mean there's there's so much nether quartz you don't need uh, looting there or uh, you know it was just a big mistake on my part to take that uh, so Annabelle Lee and I both fell to our death not into lava just we weren't able to get everything back so uh, I do have my armor and I spent all my levels repairing it um, I did come back with a little bit of nether rack and a little bit of nether quartz uh, got some glowstone for Annabelle Lee because that's what she really wanted I lost my bow but it only had power one no big deal lost a diamond sword um, so uh, I will go into the nether here in a little bit and kind of show you <laughs> what our spawn was like but before we do that welcome to the village the village what is that you might ask well uh, this here is a little uh, door uh, building now it, it, technically this is six different buildings I built four of the village, uh, the small village house twos with two of the village house ones right next to it. And then I thought to myself, you know what, let's just go ahead and throw some extra doors in here so that we can hopefully get these villagers breeding. So this is what the villager house one looks like. Um, it's just this, uh, it's a five wide house with a uh, you know a little balcony on top whatever you want to call it uh, it does not come with a door though so I added the door because of course we want more villagers and then I also used the uh, structure builder 
to make a library. Kind of cool. So, um, there's a little munchkin there. And right now we've got uh, a villager. Uh, this one is a butcher. He has coal for emeralds, which is a pretty decent trade. And then three emeralds for a leather cap. And this, this guy's only got two trades. So maybe certain ones, I think, must have a limited number of trades. Because this guy's got emerald for cooked chicken and an emerald for melon and nothing else. So, uh, with the way villagers trade, I could do this trade and get some emeralds, and then it would reset. Or, it, once it got locked out, I'd have to do this one to get it to reset. So, it, I think I can get four to six emeralds out of him with coal before he stops trading, and then I have to do this. So, I could actually get an excess of emeralds. But it's still kind of expensive because 21 coal, you run out of coal pretty quick. Uh, this guy here, he's the smith. He still has all of these. Um, but I'm getting low on emeralds, so these trades aren't really worth it. So I'm hoping that Junior down here will uh, give us some decent trades. Alright, you need to move out of the way. Okay, so, and then, this is where I'm going to put a couple of more buildings here, so we can keep uh, keep getting the villagers breeding. We've got Annabelle Lee's house, so as you can see, I did expand it quite a bit. And over here, the carrot farm is doing wonderfully, and the pig farm is also doing very well. Uh, I've cooked up several stacks. And, of course, the other farms are just doing great. So, food is not a problem. I went ahead and I smoothed this out here. And, I don't know, I might go ahead and put some oak trees in here. I might just go ahead and make an oak farm. Um, let me see what it would take for that. Let's see. An oak tree farm. Okay, why can't I see your recipe? Should be able to see the recipe there. We're in recipe mode. Now uh, maybe that's one of the buildings that the NEI plugin isn't working for. And then we've also got um, the new location for the quarry mine, which is doing quite well. Um, I think I showed you guys that I moved these over when I started the carrot farm. So, at this point here, I'm going to need to get some levels because I need to get uh, a new pickaxe. I'll make sure to show it on, on camera this time when I do the enchanting on it. Okay, I've been doing some research here. We're up to level 4s on pretty much everything. Looks like just rockets is the only one left. I'm going to go ahead and get that going here. I do have some torches. And let's see, I'll go ahead and I'll put my netherrack up here, because it's kind of a, a valuable item. <coughs> yeah, I guess we'll throw the netherrack up there too. Oh wait, I do actually have a brand new iron pickaxe, because I did a trade with the villager. We've also got a brand new diamond sword and a diamond pickaxe. Definitely going to keep that diamond pickaxe and the iron hoe in case I need to make any NPCs. The iron pickaxe, th those, uh, we got plenty of iron to make everything out of, so I'm not worried about using that or not. I did take down the chunk loader because I didn't want these guys to uh, use up all the food while I was offline. So let's go ahead and get this rocket stuff going. I think I needed three. Oh good, it finally stopped raining. Oh no, I need six. So let me get two more of those, and I needed... Was it two iron, I think? Three iron, okay. So, we need some sticks and six paper. Yep, getting low on uh, paper, but I got everything I need to make some more. And then what was the last thing there? Some sticks, okay. Okay, let's throw 
that in there. Start. Let me go and make this paper while I got it here. Okay, and I lost my backpack. I lost my my large backpack, so I'll have to make another one of those. And I lost uh, four master archers, my small uh, town square, and a stack of rations. I could care less about the rations. But uh, let's see, where is my backpack? Uh, travel? doesn't which one of these tells me how big it is 36 and if I do the travel it's only 18 okay so let's go and make the large four chests and eight wool do I have any wool around here yep so yeah it was uh, the nether did not work out um, the uh, man Alright, so I just need to get two more of you. And it's night time. Alright, I'm going to go to sleep because I would need these guys to work. <sighs> yeah, and then, uh, then I'll probably run back into the nether and see if I can find a fortress. Um, let's see. I'm going to have to make some more walls because I, I lost my, all my walls. Let's see. It was, uh, it was kind of just a bad trip. We, uh, we did end up getting some glowstone and made a, uh, a safe place there. And you know what? I'm probably going to want some, uh, some chests there when I go back. Let me go ahead and grab some cobble. I want to make some walls. No, don't follow me. Oops. I always forget to take it out of here. Alright. So let's get that backpack done. Other than that, not... Uh, not a whole lot to talk about. Research is getting there. Um, oops. In here. And that should be all we need there. Whew. Okay. Backpack. Let's go ahead and get some some more walls here and I'm going to go and put those in the backpack and I'll go drop some chests in the uh, the nether as well just so we can store stuff as we get there and I'll go ahead and I'll put that dirt in there too Let's see I'm going to need some more pickaxes I know I could make uh, take that iron pickaxe, but I mean, nether rack digs up so fast that stone is really fine. All right, um, let me go uh, get a couple of levels here. I'll tell you, once you get these farms going nicely, um, you can really get a, quite a bit of XP from them. So, I, if if you wanted an XP farm, you know, you could uh, you could just set some of these up because they actually work pretty well. Um, that actually seems a bit faster than the uh, spider farm that I've got. Of course, you don't get string, but yeah, nothing's perfect, right? All right, so we are coming up to Christmas, so I'll be opening this here pretty soon. Uh, today is actually the, uh, what is it, it is Saturday, or I'm sorry, it's Sunday, 
Sunday the 22nd, so maybe I'll open it tomorrow so that when I post it, it'll be Christmas or maybe the day after. Let's go see if we've got any more iron over here yet. Definitely need to get some levels so that I can enchant some more armor. Let's see. Move over for me, guys. Okay, none in there. None in there. Everything's feeding through. Let's see. Let me go ahead and... Actually, I actually have to break that one in order to access the one below it. Okay, good. There's some iron. And then we'll just go ahead and put that back there. And yeah, let's go ahead and get to the nether. Sometimes it's surprising how scary the nether is, especially just the vanilla nether. I mean, I'm used to, like, Natura and um, things that add extra mobs in, and... You know, then you expect it to be just wrought with danger. But when Annabelle Lee and I were there, it just seemed all kinds of crazy. Alright, here we go. So we made this house here uh, around the portal. I always like to build some kind of a cobblestone structure to at least protect from ghasts. So now what I'm probably going to do is go ahead and change these to walls. And the reason why I want walls is because... And I, of course I brought the iron with me like an idiot. The reason why I want the walls is because... Archers can shoot over walls. And that's kind of an important thing. Alright, so that's definitely enough chests. And you know what? I'm going to go ahead and leave the iron here. That way I can't accidentally drop it. And let's go ahead and... I'm going to put walls... I want to have a little bit of clearance there. Great, I'm already getting shot at. Ah! Come on, I hit it. You guys saw that. I hit it. So... If you look there, you can see um, this uh, <laughs> this cobblestone here took a lot of effort to get put up. And uh, uh, quit shooting at me. It was not easy, that's for sure. So let me go ahead and get my walls there. So, what I plan on doing is I want to have... Whoa. I want to have some archers here to take care of these guys for me. Because these guys are just going to keep spawning. And the archers will actually shoot these guys, and I think if we put a medic down... It, uh, it'll be pretty easy to have these guys taken care of without really having to, uh, to worry about it too much. So that's why I brought lots of uh, cobble here. Because uh, what happened was there was a ghast down below me. And the ghast just shot at me. And blew out the... Uh, nether rack I was standing on and I fell down to my death. It was uh it was definitely a frightening experience when it happened. Alright, give me give me some cobble here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and work on this and I'm gonna go ahead and pause the recording here because you guys don't really need to see this. I just want to show you what it is I'm working on here. And uh, I'll be back in a bit.